fellow students welcome back to ocm subject students in the last class we have started with chapter number 1 in which we have seen the nature of principles of management and in the second video we have seen the significance of management principles right coming down to the most important topic under the principles of management which is said to be as the 14 principles of management so, uh, like we said that principles of management were being given by two uh, economists and we say they are known to be fathers of management right one is being given by henry fiore and second principles were being given by f w taylor now when we generally say that uh, who are they so first let's see henry fiore's 14 principle henry fiore is known to be as father of modern management so you get this question in one mark uh, like they can ask you in one word who is known to be as father of modern management or they can ask you in fill in the blank simply right so it's important to know that henry fiore is known to be as father of modern management Similarly, when we talk about the part of uh, Henry Fiore, Henry Fiore said he has given fourteen principles of management. Right? He said that in an organization, when uh, an employee works. follow some set of rules and regulations or we can say they have to follow some fundamental uh, like the rules right so it is said to be as we every person need to follow some management principle he said there are 14 principles which every organization need to follow whether they belong to small organization or they belong to a large organization the chote se office mein bhi ye principle apply hote hain और एक बड़े से बड़े ऑफिसर्स बड़े से बड़े ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में भी ये सारे प्रिंसिपल्स दे आर बीइंग टेकन केयर ऑफ दैट दे आर बीइंग फॉलोड राइट बेसिकली व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द 14 प्रिंसिपल नाउ बाय नोइंग दैट 14 प्रिंसिपल नीड टू बी रिमेंबर्ड एंड इट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक जनरली द स्टूडेंट गेट्स स्केयर्ड हाउ टू रिमेंबर दैट राइट सो आई हैव अरेंज देम इन एन अपोस्टिक वे व्हिच इज इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड how to learn that a child asked his dad right he asked his father and he has opened the map or globe and he asked his father dad you see ussr so his dad replied o oh, i see that is on the map he said oh i can see that ussr so what the child asked his father or his dad he said dad you see u s s r so that replies o i c right let's count these how many are these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
possibility. The next D stands for discipline. You can check it out that these coding principles are being given in our textbook. Right? U stands for unity of command. C stands for centralization. Right? Again, U stands for unity of direction. The next S stands for scalar chain. R stands for remuneration. Right? O stands stands for order. I stands for initiative. S stands for scalar chain.
subject, so I know all the subjects, right? But is it possible for me to teach you all the subjects? As a teacher, I would say no. My efficiency will be uh, more where my interest, sub, interesting subject is being given to you according to my interest, right? When my subject or when my, uh, the subject in which I am well versed or the subject in which uh, I have interest to teach, if it is being assigned to me, then only my efficiency and effectiveness will be shown to the organization, right? So, here also the same thing is being done in an organization where I belong to a marketing department or I have done a course in marketing, but if the same course, if in the, uh, when I have been appointed in an organization, if I don't be given, if I am not being given any kind of marketing work, will my efficiency will be highest? I say no. अगर मुझे मार्केटिंग का ही काम कुछ अगर दिया होता तो मेरी एफिशिएंसी क्या होती ज्यादा अच्छी होती ज्यादा अच्छी शो की जाती राइट तो हर एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हर एक एम्प्लॉय को अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर एफिशिएंसी वर्क प्रोवाइड होना चाहिए इसी लिए कहा गया है दिस टोटल वर्क नीड टू बी डिवाइडेड इनटू स्मॉल सब पार्ट्स एंड दे आर बीइंग असाइन टू द एम्प्लॉई सो दैट दे कैन वर्क इफेक्टिवली एंड efficiently and this work need to be assigned according to what according to the efficiency of the employee matlab efficiency or effectiveness badhana hai agar logo ka to mujhe unke hisab se unke interest ka kaam unhe provide karna padega tabhi to maximum kya milega output right so in division of work again i am repeating this is important for you to understand Division of work means total work should be divided into small parts. These small parts should be distributed amongst the employee according to their efficiency, which will help the employee to do the work more effectively and efficiently. And ultimately, they will achieve what. organization goals right this is division of work what does a stands for a stands for authority and responsibility now as i said that every employee should be given the work according to their efficiency isn't it to unki efficiency ke according unko kya milna chahiye work milna chahiye but work ke sath wo work milne ke sath unhe kuch authority bhi assign honi chahiye kyun authority assign honi chahiye koi bhi organization maine kabhi talk about any organization uh, there are some managers who look upon the different employees right if the manager is being given an authority he should be held responsible for that work so we say here if you said when there when you give an authority right when you provide the authority when you assign the authority to the people that person will be held what that person will be held responsible for that work right agar mujhe organization mein kisi ko bhi main authority deti hu to wo responsible bhi hota hai for that particular work so you see that with authority responsibility goes
हैंड इन हैंड मतलब जहां अथॉरिटी होगी वहां रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी तो होगी पर जरूरी नहीं है कि हर जगह जहां रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हो वहां अथॉरिटी होगी बट अथॉरिटी के साथ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी गो हैंड इन हैंड एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम बीन गिवेन अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और अथॉरिटी ऑफ टीचिंग ओसीएम एज ए सब्जेक्ट then i will be held responsible for ocm subject whatever difficulty uh, occurs in the subject i need to take care of that right so in an organization also if i am been appointed as an hr manager that is human resource manager right and if i been given an authority as a manager i need to look upon i need to be very careful that whatever happens in the department whatever happens with the uh, authority i will be always held responsible for it right for that particular work or for that particular department isliye kaha gaya hai ki jab hum work divide karte hain to work unki efficiency ke according divide karna chahiye matlab employees ki efficiency ke according agar humne work divide kiya तो ही उस पर्टिकुलर पर्सन को हम क्या दे सकते हैं अथॉरिटी में दे सकते हैं और उसे हम क्या कैरी कर सकते हैं एज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबल राइट कमिंग डाउन टू दी नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज डिसिप्लिन डी दैट इज डैड जो हम कंप्लीट करेंगे डैड मीन्स द लास्ट डी ऑफ डैड मीन्स डिसिप्लिन वट इज डिसिप्लिन मीन्स नाउ Uh, as I know, I have taken an admission in. Uh, as a student, I have taken an admission in N K Sanchetti, eleventh standard, right? Now, in this eleventh standard, my college gives me some set of rules and regulations, isn't it? Uh, my teachers tells me whenever I come to the college or when I take the admission at the time of admission, my college tells that. Uh, you need to come down to the college by 8:30. That is 8:20. You have to enter into the college. After 8:30, you will not be allowed to come into the college. You need to wear the uniform. These are some set of rules and regulations which the management has made. That is, the organization has made. And it is my responsibility as a student that I should follow all the rules and regulations. So, what does discipline mean? discipline means discipline means to follow rules and regulation that means hand it your set whether you belong to a small organization or you your organization belongs as a large organization you work in large organization in every organization the employees should be disciplined that is they should follow the rules and regulations for what it will increase two things right discipline agar hum follow karte hain rules and regulations hum follow karte hain to hum kya achieve kar sakte hain i can achieve organization goals right second as a manager can show effective leadership
by 815. Why? Because my students come at 820, so I need to come at 815. This is the rules and regulations made by the organization and I have to follow so that I can show my effective leadership. That is, as a leader, I can make the people work for the organization according to the rules and regulations. This is the third principle of uh, management principle given by Henry Ford. He said, first, division of work. Every work need to be divided into some parts. A, authority and responsibility when the uh, work is being divided. Every work need to be given to the employees according to their efficiency. And when it is being given, he will be held he will be given with the authority and the person who is being given the authority he will be held responsible for that. Again, discipline. Every employee need to follow rules and regulations then only he will be set as a disciplined employee and why? To achieve the organization goals and manager follows the rules and regulations or maintain discipline in his organization so that he can show effective leadership. Right? Coming down to the fourth principle, that is I said you, that is unity of command. This is again an important principle. It has been asked separately many a time. What is unity of command means? Unity of command means that when my total work is being divided into subparts, so every organization will have different departments or different work uh, depart working departments, and every working department should be uh, having one head. That is, in unity of command, it is said that every employee should receive command from one boss.
right? What does C mean? C stands for centralization. Centralization means generally in an organization when uh, when there is a small organization, you have only one or two departments, right? So the authority, right? So the authority is only in one hand. So जहाँ small organization है, वहाँ पे authority जो होगी, वो किसके हाथ में होगी? Authority will be in few hands. That is, it will be centralized at one place. राइट छोटा सा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है तो एक या दो ही बॉस होंगे जो उसको कवर करेंगे और जो जिनके पास अथॉरिटी होगी काम करने की राइट बट व्हेन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज लार्ज मतलब जब ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक्सपैंड होता है जब बहुत सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स होते हैं तब अथॉरिटी इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड
इंटरप्रिटेशन होना चाहिए इसका मतलब एवरीवन डायरेक्टेड एवरीवन शुड बी डायरेक्टेड बाय वन मैनेजर achieving the targets right so in an organization whenever we talk uh, a large organization or a small organization there should be unity of direction that is there should be one head who will have only one plan to be followed by the different employees ek hi plan hona chahiye uske paas aur wo sab follow karenge ek hi plan jisse wo apne targets ko kya kar sake achieve this will again help in showing the effective leadership of our manager and it will help in increasing the efficiency of the employees coming down to the seventh one the seventh is s that is subordination of individual that 
these stands for division of work matlab total work ko humne kya kiya small sub parts mein divide kiya aur small sub parts ko humne distribute kiya amongst the employees according to their efficiency so that they can show effectiveness right similarly a stands for authority and responsibility that means when in an organization a person is being uh, kept in a good position he should be assigned with the authority aur ek baar kisi ko authority di to usko hum responsible bhi help karenge for that work right d stands for discipline following the rules and regulations of the organization unity of command means where you say unity of command means one head one one command one head ya yeah, one head one command that is i should have only one boss above me there should be no two boss or more than two boss which will create confusion so to reduce the confusion and conflict in the organization i should have only one boss again centralization means in a small organization the authority will be in few hands that is it is will be concentrated in few hands jab chhota organization hoga par jahan pe bada ho jayega organization jahan pe bahut sare departments honge so few hands mein centralization ya authority rakhna it will be dangerous for right because the targets will not be able to achieve so we do decentralization that is we distribute the authorities with different heads right unity of direction means one head one plan we are the two one head one plan that is everybody should have only one boss and the boss should follow only one plan that is of giving the organization goals again s stands for subordination of individual interest to group interest group interest means nobody should work for their own individual interest when the organization goal will be achieved automatically individual goals will also be achieved i have given an example of remuneration mujhe agar higher remuneration chahiye to main sirf apne liye work nahi karungi par main organization ke liye work karungi ki organization ko profit hoga to ultimately mera increment bhi zarur hoga so i hope you have understood these seven principles of management in next video we will be understanding the next seven principles of management thank you